whether you're a beginner or an experienced trader, you always need reliable sources, in this case, websites, to check out the news because they're going to affect our trading. In this video, I'm going to introduce you uh, the websites uh, which are crucial and mandatory to know and work with uh, for our trading. This part is the fundamental analysis. So how to do them? Stay with me until the end of the video. We are going to have a lot to discover. But first things first, what is the fundamental analysis? What is it all about? It basically means analyzing the underlying factors that affect a cryptocurrency's value. They can include factors like the technology behind the cryptocurrency, the team behind the project, and of course the market demand for that specific cryptocurrency. There are lots of websites out there uh, to check these factors, but I'm going to introduce you to uh, the most uh, famous one. If the demand is high and you want me to tell you and introduce you the other ones to please leave it in the comments below and ask me and of course I would be really happy to make a video for each and every one of them too but more or less they are all the same uh, there is nothing more uh, something uh, significant that you can find in the other websites that there is not in this particular website which is this is stop right there before the name and the address of the website maybe you've heard of it before but just a moment you must know one of the most important things about uh, the fundamental analysis is uh, staying up to date about all the projects coming up or the previous projects, what is happening out there. So news are fundamental. This is why it's called fundamental analysis. So now here with the website, we're going to check out the Coindesk. So how we use a website like this for fundamental analysis? Of course, I can tell you some general ideas, but the overall outcome is when we know the technical analysis as well which is going to be up in upcoming sessions and then we can, we're going to combine them and get an outcome for our uh, trades uh, so how to uh, get it get into a trade is it a good time it's not and it's really depending on the fact that whether you are a day trader you are a swing trader uh, what kind of trader you are so that that's even for later on uh, which we're gonna have trading strategies but now at the moment let's get into the website so as you can see there are some tabs above here like tv and videos newsletter which we, uh, we need this part mostly and there are tons of uh, things here to click on but what we really need is for example if we want to check out the bitcoin data here so we we'll click on it and another tab opens it comes up now you can see this is the current price at the moment of the Bitcoin as you can see there are some other data here so uh, th this is the amount of Bitcoin price growth in percentages in last 24 hours and the price is of course this is in, in USD you can change it to any other fiat or currency you want mostly I think lots of people they use USD then uh, you can see how much it got low the lowest point the lowest price in the last 24 hours uh, of course the highest price in the last 24 hours then you have the price chart here as you can change see you can change it to a bar chart even with the candlesticks which we have a lot to talk about but um, in the technical analysis this is the chart main chart but we mainly don't check the charts here we check them in on another platform uh, the trading view or on exchanges data charts uh, but this is for an overlook and overview so the feed overall is the same then you can put it on logarithmic and liner uh, what are the differences uh, between these we're going to talk about that later on too i don't want to get into more details right now because we're here to only talk about how this website works uh, these are most mostly technical data it's better to check the chart itself uh, on trading view and check the rest of the data like the uh, price tracking uh, etc on uh, the other platform which I'm going to talk about today which is another amazing website you can choose any other asset that you want from here or just hit the search button here and search for anything that you want but mostly what we need to check is this segment in, in between 
in the middle of the page so you can see the latest news what happened uh, as you can see it was published on march 11th uh, 2023 at 3 43 p.m by someone this is the name so this is the title bitcoin regains 20 20k after uh, 200 million in crypto liquidations some traders brush off usdc fears we can click on it and more details on the news pops up right into your screen and you can check out what is it all about who published it and more details on the news itself and you can read it read it read it and keep reading but why why do we need to do this you know the main market trend and main um, supply and demand areas are uh, mostly relying on uh, the news and fundamental basics uh, because all the charts that you can see let me open up this let's open up ethereum this time take a look at here all these areas that you can see that the price had an action and reaction to them these areas are the supply and demand areas so people these are people who are trading like you like me as you can see this is the candle chart if a candle goes down it means people are selling if the candle goes up it means people are buying people are making this market with their money i, I talked about previously about the the players of this market and who are affecting this market uh, which i'm gonna leave the link above you can check it out but mostly these are people human beings making this market why checking news uh, is important to us we can know uh, what is the main idea uh, of the market and what are people thinking so if most of the market is afraid of something like this news here usdc fears you, you can expect that the market is so now volatile and gonna mix it with your technical analysis and you're gonna have a decision whether you want to take a trade or enter a trade or not Another essential types of website that uh, which we need for uh, fundamental analysis are the price tracking websites. Which in this case, I'm gonna introduce you to uh, Coin Market Cap, which is really popular, and uh, there is almost let's say there is everything that you need to check for fundamental analysis in there. Uh, of course, uh, there are lots of websites uh, like this, uh, like CoinGecko and the rest of them but this is the one that i use this is the one that lots of traders use and this suffices but before getting into the website uh, on my screen and uh, tell you what is it all about i have to tell you what it does these websites provide real-time market data and analysis including the current price of the cryptocurrency market capitalization trading volume and more so this is uh coin market cap as you can see, there are lots of stuff here. I can remember first when I uh, came to these kind of websites or uh, started to dive into more details of this uh, whole creepy world of trading. I can remember it was really strange to me because it is, it is so crowded. There are lots of data on the screen. It's like uh, someone uh, without any knowledge looking at airplane's cockpit and you see lots of buttons and indicators and you don't know what the hell are those talking about. But when you get into it step by step, uh, you realize that you don't use them all at once and you only use a specific part or section or segment in a particular way and you only use uh, some parts when you need them okay so what are these tabs what are these information let's let's talk about each and every one of them uh, specifically individually so on the uh, top left uh, hand corner uh, we have the currencies which is the main subject of our sessions so uh, they are uh, based on different categories ranking the default form of the website when you come here it is uh, by ranking if you look at here you have Bitcoin, then Ethereum, then USDT, BNB, then and the list goes on and on and on. And then we have the recently added tab. Oh, what are the newest cryptocurrencies on the market? Categories. Uh, so you can categorize them in different uh, categories, as you can see. 
you have DeFi or the short form for decentralized finance. We have NFT, Metaverse, Polkadot, uh, BNB Chain, Solana, Avalanche, and the story goes on. And then uh, we have the spotlight, gainers and losers, global charts, historical snapshots, which I don't want to uh, talk about all of them at the moment. We just want to get to know what the website is is about and uh, by the time comes and we go furthermore uh, during the course we will come back to these websites we use those tools which become handy at the moment uh, so next are the exchanges which are for spot derivatives dx which i'm going to talk about later on uh, there are lots of things which i want to talk about later on because if i want to make a video and talk about all of these things it's going to be like hours of video and in and you cannot even tolerate that so everything comes in the right time then the community there are the fees and articles these specific part is working like cryptocurrency news websites so you can even uh, check the news uh, on this website uh, so you have one website to do all the fundamental analysis in one place uh, you don't need to open up uh, like crazy tabs and find yourself in the middle of nowhere and don't know what to do and then the products what are the products and learn part uh, and there are lots of useful articles and videos here too beside my own videos which you can use but what i tell you here is uh, the sum up and the summary detailed summary of all the information out there next part is let's open up one of these the one and only uh, ruler of the cryptocurrencies bitcoin let's open it up and see what's here okay there are tons of stuff here don't panic i'm gonna tell you each and every one of them on the top left hand corner you can see the name and the batch uh, the logo of the cryptocurrency then you can log in or sign up into the website you can make a list uh, then you have another uh, option here you can share it uh, on the other platforms uh, the rank so the rank is the first among all the cryptocurrencies the type is a coin this number is the number of people who just like us start uh, this cryptocurrency bitcoin uh, and may, make it a favorite as a favorite on their watch list then we have bitcoin.org let's open it up and see what we can see so this is bitcoin website which there is everything all about it you can just uh, have a research for yourself the next part, the explorers for Bitcoin, the community, which you can uh, find out questions, you know, tons of stuff about this cryptocurrency or any cryptocurrency. And then if we have the source code, let's open it up. What is it? And then coming back. And the white paper. Let's stop here. Imagine that you want to start your career uh, as an investor or a trader right away. What you need to know, and believe me, your uh, life in this market depends on this. You need to read at least a summarized version of a white paper of any project you want to attend to. Whether you are, I, I uh, repeat, whether you are an investor or a trader. So let's open it up, download it. As you can see here, this is the original white paper of Bitcoin. And if you haven't watched my previous video about uh, the history of the cryptocurrencies and, and all about the uh, financial markets, I leave a link above. Please check it out later on. Uh, so, but here it was published by an unknown uh, person or a group of people, Satoshi Nakamoto, and the rest of the story. What is it all about? The transactions, how it get done, timestamp servers, proof of work, network, blah, 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 blah. But these blah, blahs are really important and you can find the summarized version and even the calculations, the coin itself. Uh, you know, uh, uh, as an investor or a trader, you really don't need this all this data, but a summarized version of this is uh, out there. I leave a link down in the description uh, so you can check it out. The summarized version of Bitcoin a white paper uh, and the, the top 10 coins out there. Uh, what are the white papers? What are they all about? And please check them out and tell me what you think.
And next, uh, on the top right hand side, you can see the current price of uh, Bitcoin and how much it had a growth in it in percentage. The lowest price in last 24 hours, of course, was this amount, which we checked in the previous website too. So these data, as I told you before, are more or less the same. And then uh, also you can uh, see the uh, comparison of it to Ethereum. Then uh, furthermore, we have the market cap. So what is the market cap? As you can see here, the total market value of a cryptocurrency is circulating supply. It is analogous to the free float capitalization in the stocks market, in the stock market. Uh, market cap equals current price times the circulating supply. In easier words, this is the amount, the whole amount of value of Bitcoin. So this is the amount and it had a growth in the last 24 hours and in this segment you can see uh, the fully diluted market cap what is it okay simply done your answer is here just read it for yourself and you can understand what is the fully diluted market cap i don't want to waste your time there are there, all the informations are here i just only want to tell you the information that you don't know so just read it for yourself take your time you can pause the video or go to the website directly I leave the link below. Then the volume in the last 24 hours in the whole market was this amount. It had a decrease of this amount in percentage. And we have CX volume and DX volume. What are those? Okay, CX is a measure of how much of a cryptocurrency was traded in the last 24 hours on a centralized exchange. And this one, of course, is for decentralized exchange. So what are the differences? We're going to talk about later on. Don't worry. Last but not the least in this upper section is the maximum supply. Of course, the total supply, which you can check for yourself. These are all for Bitcoin. So this was the overview. Then we can go to markets tab. What is it? It says on what markets you can find this asset, this cryptocurrency uh, for spot trading, perpetual trading, futures trading. We're going to talk about these types of trading later on. But in general, you can see the Binance is first for spot trading, for perpetual trading. Let's check it. Uh, for leverage trading, let's say. So you can see it's Binance is first and uh, the, these are the pairs. So uh, you, you can trade Bitcoin to USDT or uh, Bitcoin to USD and Bitcoin to BUSD and the list goes on. Okay, so you can check it out here. There are all the informations you need. Uh, the volume, the volume in percentage, the confidence, if the confidence is high, so that market is reliable and you can you can trust it without any doubts. Uh, so these are, the, you know, always trust the uh, first 20 numbers there. Of course, the rest of them are trustable too, but the first 20 numbers in any uh, type of uh, website like this uh, are mostly reliable. Uh, and then uh, we have the historical data. In historical data, you can see everything in detail from years ago, nine years ago, eight years ago, six years ago, and up to the moment today. With each and every day, highs, lows, close price, the volume in that day, the market cap. So that this is the whole uh, historical data and then the news of course you can check the news about especially about bitcoin here different al analysis what are the news the relations of this uh, coin to the others and load more and you can see there is an endless list here coming up just like five you can see five hours ago two hours ago it's coming it's uploading and uploading endlessly next is price estimates and price estimates the other people the other trade traders they make their estimations and they put it here and lots of people can vote on it you can see for example this estimation got 12k votes on it this one got 7k plus 7k plus almost 5k so um these are the predictions that people make on the more info you have other information for example total addresses on bitcoin and you can of course change the timeline and the time chart 
and the rest of things. We, you know, the, a long story short, everything you need to know about an asset or a cryptocurrency or an exchange, communities, anything, there's you can find it all here on CoinMarketCap. This is the reason in the first place that I didn't want to introduce you all the websites one, one by one because the rest of the websites they are just like this one. Uh, you don't need uh, to go to different websites uh, to find something new because other websites are going to uh, and they are still uh, at the moment uploading the things which you can find here. So I think there is nothing left to uh, say. The rest of things that we need uh, to know about how to use this website comes after uh, getting to know technical analysis and when we want to plan our trading strategies, plan A, plan B, plan uh, all the way to Z. <laughs> We come back here and check the things that we want. As I mentioned before, it's like the airplane's cockpit. So you use the indicators that you want in a specific time. By regularly checking these websites, you can get a better understanding of the relative value of different cryptocurrencies and how they perform in the market. These informations help you out to make better and precise uh, trading decisions. Uh, due to the fact, of course, what is the main market trend and what is happening in the whole market. If you want me to introduce you more price tracking websites, uh, of course I can do that. I would really happy to do that too. So just leave the leave a comment below. So as you've seen, this is really important to have access to reliable sources, websites, uh, to get the latest news, get the analysis, even uh, talk to other people, go to the forums, check out what is happening. But in the end of the day, it is you who decide to enter a trade, take it or not. We are going down this road with each other, me and all of you. Uh, and we have to check these websites regularly in order to take the best trades. So it was the session I told you all about the news websites later on after talking about uh, the technical analysis in the upcoming sessions when we want to uh, plan a trading strategy or let's say trading strategies then we come back to this point and we go to the news websites and see how the news are affecting our trades and we're gonna go, go to live market or, or we're gonna check the previous market data how the news affected our tradings and how it could affect our tradings and how it will affect our tradings and see what we could do to prevent some losses or take really good profits out of the market. The upcoming session will be about the technical analysis uh, and of course the most known website for uh, price tracking and it will be TradingView. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't uh, done it yet and turn the notification bell on so when I'm gonna post a new video you're gonna be the first to be informed and please share my videos with your friends uh, both to support me and your friends uh, for a really good and of course free course everything needed to know how to become a trader thank you so very much see you in the next one